But let's talk about the big, uh, uh, the, the big news here. Check this out. We got the story from the Daily Mail. Driving a hard bargain, haulage firms offer $100,000 salaries and $15,000 bonuses to lure 80,000 truckers and ease supply crisis as empty shipping containers are dumped in the streets because California port is full. This is a trucker problem. Check this out. They say, near the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, transportation execs say the problem isn't a lack of drivers. It's mass congestion caused by empty containers. Steamships are refusing to take back empty containers and charging trucking companies a per diem to store them. That is what is driving some small businesses to close the logistical situation at the por- as the ports worsen. Head of the California Trucking Association has called for a state of emergency to, a- to be imposed. It all ties to supply chain chaos that's left cargo ships queuing for weeks mm-hmm. to unload goods to trucking, uh, to trucking companies, which are unable to effectively move them. So Christmas canceled? What's going on? They're, can't get, can't get that little stretch. They're strong. dumping way more than uh, containers in the streets of California. Have you been, have you been to San Francisco? <laughs> I'm they're, sure they're, all, they're dumping in the streets. There's yeah. a lot of dumping going on. Yeah, I'm on sure Harrow and Harry right now, sitting in front of a city hall right now, is doing a different type of dumping. But uh, <laughs> on, on I, t- note, I told you, Tim. This is you signed up for this. <laughs> I signed up for okay. this. Yeah, we'll blame, are we here. blaming Luke for the rest <laughs> of the Luke, show? Luke, Luke came to us and he's like, "I've got a great recommendation yeah. for this." Yeah. T- <laughs> Tim is immediately regretting this, and I was like, <laughs> "All right, well, sounds good." <laughs> now back on this topic, um, <laughs> I think let's get a, back to dumping. I, I, that's, <laughs> yeah. Yes, I think it's also important to point out that a lot of container ships don't want to go back with empty containers because they don't get paid for shipping nothing, and there's no reason for them to go back and forth when they have nothing to ship back. One of the reasons they have nothing to ship back is because of the slowdown and destruction of manufacturing in this country, but also the fact that there was a lockdown. Those lockdowns that happened months ago, almost a year ago, the, the, the ramifications of it are being felt right now. Now, what happens now, it's, it's not just going to play out for Christmas. It's going to play out beyond that because we're talking about consumer goods, not just uh, for you know Chinese-made, slave-made good toys for your, your child. We're talking about tools. We're talking about essential items that other businesses need to create different kind of products to put products together. So all of that is going to be in, in disrepair to the point where even Florida has just announced that they're going to be opening up their ports and a lot of ships are considering literally going through the Panama Canal into Florida Jeez. as Florida has announced, hey, uh, this is a crisis. We could help fix it. Let's bring all the goods here. We could ship them around the country. But the, the, the crisis here, there's many layers to it because it's not just a labor shortage. It's not just a trucker shortage. It's also uh, emission laws that ca- the governor of uh, California has put that has limited the specific trucks that could move in, the specific ships that could move in as well. It's also the VAX mandates that specifically make sure that a lot of people can't work when they want to to work. And it's also people saying, hey, uh, the dollar's not worth crap. The government is hyperinflating it. It's printing it out of thin air. It's not worth nothing. Why should I work when I can't even afford uh, to to live when gas is skyrocketing up in California? You know what people don't realize is that when these shipping containers can't make it in, these companies have started contracting private vessels to like try and, you know, private ports and stuff like that. And so now we're hearing that what would normally cost like two grand in shipping is going to cost 10 times that, 20, 25. That means your products are going to go up not just because of demand, but because of the the supply chain breaking is increasing the cost of shipping tenfold. That's going to come down in this product. Now, check this out. In this Daily Mail article, they actually show this this doll. This This is the craziest thing about it. Look at this. Let me see if I can scroll down. This is an American girl's sold out blonde winter princess doll. Retailed for 250 bucks is now going for up to $1,000 on platforms such as Mercari and eBay. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they're even talking about bringing in the National Guard to help them get rid of these cargo uh, ships. But but uh, but again, uh, they're going to offload the cargo ships. Where are they going to put all the empty containers? They just dump them in the Exactly. Street. And the global supply chain, again, it runs on its own kind of volition. Uh, it's not centrally controlled. It's not organized. It runs when there's a need for it. Now, if there's nothing going back, there's no point for people even shipping things in. So there's a lot of chaos, a lot of disarray, and everything that happened has a d- the direct fingerprint of the government intervening 
meaning saying that they're going to help everyone when they're causing these problems it's, it's and only exacerbating them that much worse. Yeah, you 100%. Will own, you will own nothing and you will be happy. Exactly. This is a part, in my opinion, this, of the Great Reset and screwing people over. This is what you got to understand about stuff like when the government gets involved. When you, you, you can tell they're applying a pressure in some way. They're not going to come out right and be like, we're shutting down the port because people would revolt. But you throw some sticks and stones in the way, some wrenches and some spokes, make it a lot harder for businesses to operate. And then you watch them slowly struggle out and then gasp their last breath. And then their store closes down. And then there you go. Yeah. You will own nothing. This is like another iteration of the lockdown that predominantly helps out the big billionaire class and screws everyone else over. Because when the average business relies on these kind of shipping containers, Amazon, Walmart, Costco, they just they, they, they get their own ships. They, they literally are able to skirt these rules and they're able to play by a different set of rules. Meanwhile, everyone else is screwed here saying, hey, I don't have much options here except for paying $1,000 for a doll that's $250. Yeah, people might be wondering why Luke's so angry. It's, you know, Luke, Luke actually <laughs> uh, was dropping away. hints. He wanted the American Girl doll. He did, yeah. Did he? I, 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 I did, did my, I did my <laughs> Christmas shopping a couple of weeks ago. I was telling my audience members, I was like, you should do that too. Kamala Harris, out of all people, yeah. uh, actually had a, uh, a moment where she had some kind of clarity and actually told people a few weeks ago, hey, you should do your Christmas shopping now. No, she's a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Yeah, she's just right. trying to she's pushing MLM or something. She's <laughs> she's trying to grift. I can't stand her. She talks to you like you're like a kid in a gardener. You ever notice that? Like, hi, how are you doing? I imagine if somebody talked to you like that. Oh my gosh. I mean, you'd be like, who, who is this? Did you it's see like, her? She arrived at her own surprise party and yelled yeah. surprise when she walked <laughs> out. Oh, wow. No way. I, yes, yeah. I'm not we surprised. We can pull up the video. It's a White House, can I please, it's a White can House we pull video. That up, so please? so we can play it. There's no. There shouldn't be any copyright oh, issues cringe. with it. But uh, I, I mean, just this is the perfect epitome of, of who is trying to control you. The representation of just utter insincere That's nonsense. What's okay. sad is people want to be uh, talked to like that. They yeah. like, oh, go ahead. <laughs> so wait, wait, Kamala Harris surprised them? Like they, they didn't know what they were doing? No, they, I mean, obviously, no, 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 no. I think she just I, nervously dropped I the ball. Think, I think it's funnier to imagine that they were like, everybody, <laughs> you are here by, you by, are here by, they're just at lunch. <laughs> it wasn't a party at all. No, no, they're like, wow. you are hereby required to be in the cafeteria. Like, okay. It's like, what are we for? It's mandatory. And they're all standing there and then Kamala, surprise. She's fake. You're having a party <laughs> for me. Yeah. It's like the most staged Yeah, stuff. she just can't uh, be human. That's the problem. She, could, well. just, she might not be human. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what I'm honest, saying. Yeah. I, at this point, I mean, did you see that video that she did with uh, YouTube specials? Say it again. She, she did a video with, uh, I think it was, was it Discovery or YouTube TV? Uh, oh, the where she, the NASA thing, yeah. where she sat down with kids and acted oh, like she was going blind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and wasn't there her, her, wasn't there a yeah. child actor? That yeah, they, they found had a child out? actors, and she was just going. So for they have it. to stage real life, and yes. wasn't yeah. Biden on a stage? Did you guys yeah. ever? Look oh yeah, into yeah, that? yeah, 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 yeah. Sound stage they built. I mean, that looks we, like the White House. Did we ever have a president that did that, or is that typical, or is that a new thing? I never. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that's. I mean, I think it's new. It's all in front of our face, guys. Yeah. And it's like we just don't want to realize like it's a show i mean how much more where's the strings behind them someone was probably hanging over that thing with a marinette strings. aliens aliens could be see, yeah. see what did you say well, Kamala Harris <laughs> struggles to be hold human. on now you there can't you, you can't say the word alien because demi lovato says that it's you know oh, discriminatory right. no, never take my extraterrestrials yeah. never yeah. get my aliens demi yeah, yeah. could she, you imagine I, I, what, who, what does she do demi lovato she's, she's, a, she's, a, she's a singer she was oh. like a disney singer or something does but she now she's just a nutcase yeah yeah, so she's the one. She's the one that uh, she's no Lady Gaga or Beyonce. So her opinion is nothing. No, she's the one that <laughs> Lady Gaga came out. Okay. Right, she's the one that shamed the frozen yogurt place. That's right. For uh, having too many diet options for her <laughs> and ruining her week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a person with a hundred million people following, and she shames a small business during the she height could, of a pandemic. She could buy ten of those, you know, frozen yogurt places, and then do yeah. whatever she wants. Instead, she just wants to just be mean. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm. I'm just waiting for her to, her to identify as. Fro Yo. Yeah. Because she's she's exactly. they now, right? Yeah. And then she says I might be end up being trans. Well she she got attacked for, she got slammed by the left for that. Did she? Yeah, because they were saying that she was she was like just trying to use it as a marketing stunt. Absolutely. So she actually yeah. got 
Yeah, that's uh, that what was she a, that says. was a very quick segue off of supply chain. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you seen her recently? She she was caught with uh, Paris Hilton in Hollywood. She looks Yikes. like a uh, a plumber from Arkansas. I don't know if you want to pull that up. It's bad, dude. It's, it's really. So I mean, I'm not bad. kidding. I don't know enough about Demi Lovato to yeah. care, to be honest. Well, this is the like problem. It, people, I don't want to know any of this stuff, <laughs> but people send me all this crap. You know what I mean? And I I, I like I, again, this is the downside to being a uh, idiocracy uh, historian or whatever you want to call me. Is I, I have to look at this stuff. I do this for you guys. Oh, we appreciate it. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> so I'll Absolutely. tell you what. what, what that's actually, why I'm drinking now. This scotch yeah, is really necessary. good, by the way. <laughs>